PIN stands for the Philadelphia Youth Network, and through PIN we were able to hire 70 high school seniors who are heading to college this fall. Many of these seniors were in our college prep program in schools throughout primarily North and West Philadelphia from 2013 to 2014. So what you're gonna be seeing is these teens designing a digital badging system for middle schoolers through two different lenses. One is college readiness, so planning for the SATs, selecting colleges, all of that stuff, um, combined with maker movement, which is playing with creative technology and learning 21st century skills to enhance their traditional learning. These badges that we're creating this summer are to, to help them acquire the skills so that they have the skills they need to succeed in college. are doing this summer four different batches. Um, the one that they're working on this week is life and being and that is working on time management, stress management, health and wellness, eating right, not procrastinating on your homework. Those types of things help you and if you make those good habits when you are in junior high then that will transfer into high school and then into college. I think um, it's going to make them become a lot more responsible and also make them engage in a lot more activities because um, as children, if it is you give them a prize for doing something, then they tend to be they tend to want to work towards something if they know they're going to get a reward. So if you give them these pretty badges that they can showcase on their shoulders and say, "Hey, I did this and I did that. that that's good," and it teaches them to be outgoing and to go out there and show people what they're doing. It teaches them confidence. They now know how to articulate themselves because they feel proud that they have something on their shoulder to say, "I've achieved something," and also gives them a chance to come out of their shell and you know be the person that they want to be and not the person that they felt that you know they have to like hide themselves it's a really great opportunity for kids. They're just piling up in my backpack They're just piling up in my backpack I got a thousand badges I can stack there I got a hundred badges in my neck It's not really based on the sticker system, it's more of like how can we use the badges as a context for a conversation about our community and about you as a college student or you as a person in your community who's going to college and trying to create this college going culture for your younger siblings or younger people in the community. My favorite part of the program so far is working with the kids. It's, it's really cool to see young people doing something besides sitting down and playing games. There's a lot of creativity. It's great. What I have to say to a high schooler that's considering college is be open. Don't be scared to meet new people, make friends, talk to people you have to talk to, and definitely get in good with your professors and things like that. Make connections. Go help. College Prep Side of the program has taught me about things such as financial literacy. I learned about the types of institutions where you can get money, banks, credit unions, check cashing places. I've learned about how you have to spend your money wisely. There are speakers there as part of the college prep program who will tell you about life in college in general. One guy there, a the speaker who really stuck me, his name is Thomas Butler, he talked about the fact that college is going to be 50% academic and 50% social. He said he would advise that you spend more time academically than you do socially, but social is important. He said because you need your grades to make sure that you're actually able to graduate, you need to get good grades, you need to be good academically. We have a really diverse group of kids, so it's been an adventure that has had a lot of ups and a lot of downs, but mostly ups. Favorite part about Cecil B. Moore is figuring out their talents and their interests and then really getting to see them explore that and gain confidence in their own skill set is has been the most rewarding part of the summer. The, the college prep program here at Cobbs Creek has been a mixture of, of alleviating their fears of classes and scheduling, but also uh, professionalism, like professional development as well. So not just uh, you know what they're going to do at college, but what they're going to do beyond college and what they're going to do to prepare themselves um, for their you know their, their roles as citizens in the future. So we have a lot of activities that we've done in the MAKER program. E-textile, so that's sewing with conductive thread and sewing electronics into 
clothing, lights and sensors and different things like that. There's copper tape circuits, so it's similar to e-textile, so you're using copper tape to connect circuits on a piece of paper and adding LEDs to that. Another example of a project that we do are called squishy circuits and that's using Play-Doh to conduct electricity and it's the same thing using LEDs. But we also do quite a bit of media making in the program and one of the things that seems to be really popular is video production. So not only are kids learning how to use a camera and how to edit and how to like write a scene, they're also they're using a green screen and then putting an image on top of that. It's a very collaborative activity in that there are people who have different roles. And so I like it because there are many different entry points to creating a video. You could be doing the set, you can be in the costuming, you can be writing it, you could just be a camera person, you could be on the crew or something like that, or you could be doing like logistics. There are many ways for people who have different kinds of personalities, different skill sets to participate. And with the Cecil be more video, there was one kid who never appeared on screen, but he was just really comfortable behind the camera. There was someone else who had a little bit of experience editing with iMovie, and she kind of showed the rest of the kids how to edit. So everyone got a taste of doing everything, which I think was really awesome because they all got the chance to collaborate on this one project that they showed at the PIN Expo. We did two activities. One was the green screen and one was stop motion. And in green screen, one of my co-workers, Michael, he danced around in the, in the front of the green screen. And we used it for our current badge that we did this week. And he was acting, you know, silly. And we put it in, we put him in the video that we did. And it was him dancing next to giraffes and gorillas and stuff like that. And it was really cool. And I edited it. Um, a video because Golden showed me how to do iMovie editing and then for stop motion we created like a little ball I guess a little ball man <laughs> and he, we just did it we pushed him aside each time and it looked like he was moving and he was like eating like a furry worm or something yeah. um I think that it helps you develop creativity and it lets your it lets you give ideas that no, maybe no one else thought of. I really enjoy video editing, and when I first learned it in the first orientation session that we did, I'm just I'm thinking about going to school for it. Uh, our outdoor activity today was um, the branch manager Darren uh, had acquired a bunch of Galileo scopes from I think NASA, and they had to be assembled, and they had you know the kids uh, assembled these telescopes, and they're really quite easy, quite simple. Uh, and then they took them outside to look at whatever they could see, uh, anything except the sun. So after a while, they got a little bit tired of just looking at blank walls and, and you know, focusing on the street. So we, we decided to take the telescope and then use our smartphones to take a picture of whatever it is we were seeing. Um, then, you know, just trying to get them to think about um, using tools creatively and uh, just thinking outside of the box a little bit. The project that we're working on right now is a stop motion animation about fitness that was inspired by some other workout videos that they'd seen in the past and also we watched like a Jane Fonda video and um, one of the students was inspired by silent film so it's a merger between the the ecstatic fitness video and the like slapstick Charlie Chaplin. There's a heavy emphasis on self-directed learning. It's really important to be able to engage with that side of yourself and find your own direction because after you get out of college nobody's gonna tell you what to do you have to find ways to occupy yourself that are hopefully a little bit better than sitting in front of the TV at night I really have enjoyed the way that the kids engage with each other because not many of them knew each other when we went into the program and it was a little bit of you know getting to know each other adjustment period They've all found a way to include every single person in the group on all the projects, which is, you know, really impressive. Right now, we're working on a music video. The kids are really into um, music in this group, so they've come up with a dance, and they've come up with rap verses, and uh, we're going to record those, do a song that's about badging and college readiness.
whole reason I wanted to work for Maker John is because I think STEAM is incredibly important. STEAM is science, tech, engineering, art, and math. Um, a lot of those things are being cut back in schools and kids are not getting exposure to them. And I don't even like the word exposure nowadays. Exposure sounds like it's some like disease. I like to call it like a really happy run-in or an awesome meetup. Today, for instance, I'm actually taking tin foil and sculpting little baby sculptures with LEDs and batteries. So it's a great way to introduce kids to engineering, um, tech, and art at the same time. And it's something they would probably never get in school. And I know I didn't get to do that in my science classes in school. So if we don't expose kids now or give them this happy encounter, they're not even aware of what other careers may await them. And right now, tech is huge out there. Tech, medical field, all of these things that require the sciences and technology, these are things that kids are going to need to know if they want to succeed. And if we don't do it, nobody else will. The program is helping me to feel more in touch with my creativity. Uh, at the heart of what we're doing for college prep and for Maker, it's really, I would say, more about social justice than necessarily talking about like, here are the steps that you need to do to get ready for college, or here's the steps you need to do to become an electrical engineer. It's about improving access, not just to like a select group of kids, but to anyone who could walk in the doors of the library. It's improving access to thinking about college, thinking about the culture around college, thinking about the culture around making or tinkering with things and taking things apart. It's been a really incredible experience seeing these teens grow just over the six week program. And I think that the maker mentors and the college prep specialists, so, you know, we do this job for a reason. We do it because not only are we passionate about it, but when you see just the change and how much a teen has a capacity to grow over just the, even like a six week period, seeing them go from being really shy and not really wanting to share the way they feel about things. And then towards the end of it, they were like, like reading poetry they had written collaboratively. It's pretty amazing to see like behind these um, exteriors they have, you know, they're really thoughtful, really passionate kids. And it's a really, really like passionate driven group. And they're really concerned and interested in the kinds of things that we're talking about. Like, you know, what does it mean to be um, the first person in your family to go to college? Like what kind of responsibilities does that bring? What are you scared about with that? Um, what are you excited about? Like, is there still room for you to be just like a normal teen going to college for the first time? Like what kind of pressures are you putting on yourself? And having that kind of discussion as a group and letting them feel safe talking about that kind of thing, that's been a really rewarding thing to see unfold over these six weeks. Um, it's been really cool to see them articulate themselves more and more as the six weeks have gone on. And I'm looking forward to seeing how they keep in touch with the college prep specialists and the maker mentors and just seeing how they continue to grow beyond this program. I had a mentor growing up and I think without her, I don't know if my life would be the same. And I think that having that opportunity in the libraries where kids can go and not be around family, not be around school, and they can have someone help them gravitate towards things that they're actually interested in and passionate about, it can change their lives and help them grow and figure out what they want to do with their lives at, at a young age. One, two, three! Basketball!